What's up, guys? We're checking out the EVGA Z77 Stinger. Quite an epic motherboard. It's a uh, Z77 board. The max memory on this is 2133 megahertz. You've got two uh, memory slots for that. You've got a 16-speed PCI Express slot. And uh, they say on the back of the box, and I'm going to say with my mouth, don't let the size fool you. This is a high-end ITX motherboard for small form factor cases, and it is quite epic. They've packed a lot into a small, a small space. So, I mean, ITX, that's, that's a small space. It's a specified size. So there you go. Let's talk a little bit about some of the cool features that they have with this. Of course, you can use the IV bridge and the Sandy bridge. Uh, 11, socket 1155, i5s, i7s. I3s will work on this, but why would you buy this and get an i3? You're going to get an i5. You're going to get one of these, or you're going to get one of these. Look at us. We're a happy family. I'm an i9, in case you were wondering. Here's what comes in the box. You get your motherboard manual. You get your quick installation guide. You get one Molex to three right-angle SATA connectors. You get another Molex to two standard SATA connectors. You get one set of fancy SATA cables. Look at these things. They're, uh, they're like rubber and thick. I would use these for the SATA 6. And then you get two standard uh, SATA connectors. They're black and fancy. And uh, the only other thing you get, you get the uh, back plate, of course. And then uh, you get the driver CD with a fancy EVG badge. All right, um, let's talk about what's cool about this board. Now, besides everything I just mentioned, um, we have some SATA 6 ports, you, you can do RAID with this thing. We also have Virtue MVP, and that allows you to use the onboard video, which you would get with like an Ivy Bridge TPU, and the discrete graphics at the same time. It'll switch between one or the other, like if you're in Windows or whatever and you're just chilling, it'll switch over to the uh, onboard video and that'll save some power. And then when you jump into a game or an application that needs CUDA support or something like that, it'll start using the discrete GPU. If you're a power user, a lot of people just turn that off entirely, but you can save power by doing it that way, and that's quite nice. It also supports the uh, Elite tuning software from EVGA, so you can go in there and overclock. And it has a seven uh, plus one phase power design which will really help you uh, overclock. And you can see there we've got a large uh, heat sink on the V-Regs. We'll go through the entire board in just a second. Um, the audio in this is the ALC 899 from Realtek, and it sounds quite nice. Um, it's now Realtek starting to sound almost as good as the dedicated audio. Not quite, but almost as good, but it's nice that it has that. All around the board there, you'll see solid-state capacitors, and the NIC on this is an Intel NIC. So it's, it's absolutely loaded for an ITX. Let's go ahead and take a full tour of the motherboard. All right, starting uh, with the CPU there, we've got our socket 1155. Uh, just above that, see the heatsink here above all the V-Regs, keeps everything nice and cool, and your 7 plus 1 power phase design there. There's your 12-volt power connector at the top. We have some fan connectors around there, and then you'll see a power and reset button on the board, which is very handy. Moving along there, we have um, your error codes, and that'll also display the temperature of the CPU. So you can see that right on the board. We have two... RAM slots for uh, DDR3 up to 2133 megahertz. There's your 24-pin um, power connector. Just below that, we have your front panel connector. Now, beside that, we have four SATA ports. Two are SATA 6 gigabit and two run at 3 gigabits per second. The 6 gigabit SATA ports support RAID 0 or RAID 1. The uh, 3 gigabit per second SATA ports support RAID 1 and 5. Moving right on over, there's your 16-speed PCI Express slot. Just above that, we have USB 3 and two USB 2.0 headers for your front panel. On the back, beneath the brushed aluminum EVGA symbol, we do have a mini PCI Express, and that can support some industrial MSATA solutions that you'll see from Kingspec. Yes, yes, yes. And I've seen some from Jetaway, too. Jetaway also makes a dual uh, NIC that you can get for that, which is pretty cool, dual gigabit ether Ethernet port. Um, so there's a lot of things you can get with that, and especially Wi-Fi is important because this does not come with Wi-Fi on board. Just beneath that, we have our um, CMOS battery, and it is vertical to save space fits in right there beside the uh, heatsink and over the V-Regs. Let's look at the back. First off, you'll see the uh, Realtek ALC899 8-channel audio with the digital audio at the bottom. We have Gigabit Ethernet. We have two USB 3 ports. Moving on over, we have two more USB 3.0 ports. Beneath that, we have two USB 2 eSATA combo ports. Then we have HDMI, mini display port. There's a clear CMOS button on the back, and that just makes me salivate. Then we have our Bluetooth and two more USB 2.0 ports. So I'm quite excited to play with the Z77 Stinger. We are going to build an ultimate ITX system. We're going to use this. We're going to use the uh, 3770K. You know, if you guys are curious, I might be nice enough to benchmark this one in there as well. That's the 35 um, or the 3570K, the i5. Because a lot of you guys will be using the i5 because it's really, really fast for gaming. Almost as fast as the 3770K. But we're going to go crazy and see how far we can push that one with this. Maybe some water cooling, too. Uh, we're going to put that into a nice ITX case. We've got a big Phoenix Prodigy. We've also got a Lee and Lee case coming in, so 
We'll build one of those two. But we are going to build a nice little system with this. And last but not least, we're going to use a, um, an EVGA GTX 670 in there and give you guys all the details. We'll also be covering the BIOS and doing some overclocking with this. So stay tuned for that probably next week. So uh, right now, I just wanted to give you guys an overview because it's new and it's just on the market. And a lot of you guys are considering it. It's an EVGA part. I've never had any trouble with EVGA parts. So I totally endorse uh, just about anything they make, which makes me happy. But we have not tested this one yet and we will soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Subscribe. It's down there. And I'll see you guys next time.